Hello everyone and welcome to another Theorist Plays MDQ video where today we will be doing the second episode of my daily questions. So rather than three questions this time, I have five. But first thing to address is you can probably tell I'm in a different room because my family's on vacation. But YouTube life stops for nothing. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to keep recording. I have everything I need except my mic. Turns out I didn't pack the cord for it, so that, that was a bit of a fault on my part. But I have the face cam. I have my computer charger, my mouse, with everything except for, like, the little part. But, you know. Um, and, yeah. And my headphones, of course, because I still need my headphones no matter what. And, yeah. So let's get straight into this video. So the first question I have for Google is when did when did people first have the abil ability to record no uh, i'm a fast typer but when i type usually i make typos a lot like you saw at the end there so here we go let's see Let's do sound recording. Yeah, I think that would be an accurate one. So our article has some multiple issues. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, This is why I don't usually trust Wikipedia. But I guess if it doesn't... I guess because most articles usually have citation, but... Yeah, that's why teachers say you can't use Wikipedia as a rel reliable source. It really isn't. But I still use it anyway, because I really could care less. History of, sound rules, uh, bleh, history of sound recording, which has progressed in many way, in, in waves, driven by the invention of commercial introduction of new technologies, can be roughly divided into four main periods. So, using these dates... I could probably figure out the first day. 1877. So the first, it was on the first time in 1877. Pretty much. I'm pretty sure I'm getting that right. That's the first time they could record something. So, yeah, that's actually pretty interesting. So, yeah. Now, let's head back here and ask the next, next question. Oh, for a second, I thought it was raining outside. Um, let's go ahead and ask, uh, ask the next question. What does does the www dot part of a website mean? Here we go. Here, the www stands for the World Wide Web. Oh, that's okay. I, I didn't think about that one. Um, World Wide Web, this is the name of the host computer where the page is stored and is a common name given to computers connected to the web. However, it's not necessary for, for web addresses to begin with www. The web page might also be stored on a host computer or, or server named something else. Okay, then. So, that's... Okay. Didn't think about that one. But, yeah, I've heard people talk about the World Wide Web before. That's just, like, the web. Pretty much. Um, yeah. So, now my next question. Yeah, it turns out I have four questions here, guys. I was writing them down while I uh, was coming here. So, yeah. Those are some pretty good questions. Oh, wait, never mind. I do have five. Yeah, I have five. Uh, but my next question is, why are some microphones... Yeah, you know what? Why are some mics round and some mics different shapes? There. Microphones, what are the types, patterns, and shapes? Yeah, it seems like this one's the best one there. Uh, 
Microphones. Yeah, right now, guys, I'm using the hotel internet. It's not as good as ours, as you can clearly see. If you go back to the, to a few of the last videos, you can tell definitely that that internet is just well. <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's see. Two types. So, want to look for shape. The shape of a microphone is also a determining pa factor for when choosing a microphone. There are two main shapes: pencil shape, pencil shape microphone, similar in, in the shape of a roll of quarters, at the pickup screen at the very edge of the tip front of the microphone, allowing sound to enter only from one direction. So I'm assuming those ones are like the uh, mics that you'll see, like are kind of flat, then have a kind of round, but also like square kind of shape that lead up to a flat top I'm assuming they're talking about those those ones you can only speak in one direction which I'm gonna guess is the top would make sense and then open round shape yeah those are the usual round ones large open di or open diaphragm shaped microphones like you see on the yeah, whatever let's skip that example tend to pick up sound waves from different directions so I guess that means it can pick up from like almost all different directions therefore they should be used in totally soundproof rooms mine let me just see this is a better example oh lord okay. <laughs> um, that was a bit sorry for the little earthquake there but my microphone which I still brought I just forgot the cable my microphone seems to be the round one it's the Yeti I just go ahead and loosen this up real quick. I can go ahead and show you guys. There we go. Almost got it. Actually, wait. You just need to see the shape. So right now I have it almost completely closed. But look, see you see the round thing, and then another thing that improves it is the gain, and then the pattern. But I usually just care about the gain. I don't really know what the pattern does. I can check this out later to see what pattern does but oh lord <laughs> but uh, the gain usually helps increase how much is picked up so you sh yeah I have my gain around here which lets me pick it up if I'm all the way over here but if I put it at max I could be all the way across the room pick up something easy but yeah that's just a little quick example and yeah we're just gonna move on from that question so two questions left now this one may be a bit of a shocker, but I want to know. Yeah, I don't know who created Terraria. Developers, is there a specific person that like designed it, like how much? Oh, hold on, hold on, give me a moment. I just saw something. Andrew Spinks, Whitney... Sorry if I pronounced this wrong. Whitney Byard. Programmers Jari Omer and Chris Ber Benares. Okay, modes. Yeah, I don't need to know that. Artists Jim. I, I actually. Um, I'm just gonna say Jim Lamp. Uh, Vic Victor uh, Mora and Jason. Jason. Oh, James, wait, hold on. Did I just did I just say Jason instead of Jameson? Anyway, so those are the people who created Terraria. I actually never knew Terraria too. What are these people looking up? Um. Okay, and here's my last thing, which I ha I just thought about this one. As soon when I got here, I had just thought about it. What? is happening with that notch see notch made minecraft but not he gave it up to like jeb or something he gave it to microsoft and then or he gave it to jeb who gave it to microsoft but they still work on it so yeah um uh not just twitter hmm Tweets by notch. We can't exactly get an idea on this. Notch on Twitter. I think that th I think this is 
the best thing we could find here. I don't know what happened with not just Twitter or anything, but yeah, we could just try Reddit. But clearly, we are not in the loop. Uh, <laughs> he deleted all of his tweets between now and May of this year and changed the profile to bio to I, it was consuming me. What will happen will happen, and I will not worry. I will take care of my friends and, my, and of myself. Good luck, and I love you. What's going on? He posted a bunch of... What should I doing? Hmm. He's had a pretty rough time. Dang, okay then. Uh, not exactly the answer I was looking for. Seems like Notch is in a bit of a tough spot, or at least as of 2017. I don't know what's happening now, but, but as of 2017, seems like he's been in a rough spot. But yeah, that concludes our episode. But before we finish, I'm just going to say a few words that I've about on my channel. I've been seeing, not dislikes, because I'm, I'm fine with dislikes, but I've been seeing people hate on the channel, leave, specifically one person leaves some pretty ugly comments, and I've seen people just straight up call me and, um, no, I'm not crying, my eyes itchy, otherwise you would be seeing tears, and there are no tears here. But, um, I've been seeing people leave some pretty hateful comments, and, yeah. I don't care if comments are, like, even if... Nice. I don't care if they are filled with malice, so long as they're filled with malice and some criticism. Like, maybe you hate something I did... Because, let's say you hated the fact that... <sighs> let's say you're, you, you're a person who doesn't like me. And you hate something I just did. You say, oh, you shouldn't play Minecraft. You should play X, Y, and Z. Let's say Call of Duty, but I'm doing Call of Duty. Just need to get my um, Elgato to work. But let's say it's Call of Duty, right? I would say, okay, thanks for your criticism. Either I'd actually say it, or um, I would just take and be like, okay. So maybe I should try to lean towards some more FPS shooters, or just do Call of Duty altogether. That is something I can use. But when you leave a hateful comment on a video, when you leave a hateful comment on a video, it's not exactly, just um, per se, Use, it's not usable, it's not needed, it's not required to ha be used on a video because I can't do anything about it. You're just straight up insulting me to my face. And I understand how some people are either going through a rough day and sometimes don't mean it, and then there's people who do mean it. Um, I honestly could care less, to be honest. I'm just trying to tell people now, because I saw it the other day, and I was like, wow. So people are still like that, even to small channels. Because <laughs> if you take a look at my channel right now, I'm not big at all. I always keep a link here. I'm not a big channel at all. I have, what, 28, 28 subs? That's it. And I had to get that over um, two years with the breaks, which were almost like a year, but two years nonetheless. So I'm not a big channel. I'm still waiting for my subscriber boom, if I can ever get it. Um, yeah, it's gonna take a while, because this internet. But I'm still waiting for that subscriber boom, and until I get that, there's not much I can do. I'm just a small channel doing some small things here and there. That's it. And... Wasting your time to put a hateful comment on my video, not worth it. Like, why would you go through the time to put three or two comments that are hateful towards me on my video? Instead, leave constructive criticism or just walk away. 
if you don't like my videos, I don't care. I can find other people that like them. Just walk away. And likes and dislikes, I don't go by that either. I don't like say, oh, if this video gets a dislike, I'm never doing the series again. No, I don't do that. But if I, the only thing I would go off of is if a like count is usually higher, unusually higher than my usual, um, than my usual like count, which is like two or three. Let's say I got ten likes on a video, but my usual like count is two, three, and four. Then I'm, yeah, I'm gonna make more of that video just because I know more people like it. But see, that's the YouTube system. The likes and dislikes are supposed to be used to let people know if you're liking the video, if you're not, or if you're just neutral about it, you don't put anything. Um, but comments are also the s supposed to be used in the same way, except they're more, you can be more expressive with it. You can say more to your favorite YouTuber. You can say more to that friend that you know on YouTube that should pro that needs help but doesn't know how to get said help. Like me, I didn't know how to edit and then I had the Epic Gamer there with me because we used to be in a collab channel and he taught me how to do a bunch of editing and all that. And my only problem now, like, I, like I've said before, is editing softwares. I need those. And so, yeah. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to say at the end of the video, guys. But as always, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell to become a part of the Savage Sandwich. No, I'm not going to say Savage Sandwich Squad. If you guys don't know, I'm um, Mr. Craner. <laughs> Yeah, a bit wacky, but he's okay. Um, but yeah, leave a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell if you're new, and comment down below whatever you want, honestly. If you still comment a hateful comment, I, I can say I tried. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!